So here we got the Samsung Galaxy S i9000. This is the international version. So you can see it's got the oh, the button in the middle. Well, I got this one after the N8. So pretty happy with this so far. Just uh, this is like a monster. I I am not bashing Nokia. You know, just like just happened to be a bad cell phone. Just that uh, just I was hoping to to give it a good chance to Nokia, but at the end it failed. But so. The Galaxy S, it's been like amazing, you know. Just updated to 2.2 like a couple weeks ago, and it's been fine. So I got a, I got a trouble like with the my Gmail account. I know there's an issue that the calendar here doesn't sync with your Google Calendar. So it will sync with your primary calendar, which is uh, I mean the first one or whatever. But if you add more calendars, like, I don't know, school, trips, something else, it won't show up here. So I had the same trouble, and I got a solution for that. All right, guys, so the trick to make it work with your Google Calendar is basically a small setting that you have to apply on your phone, and that's it, and you're good to go. So you, you got to first do this. you got to go to Settings, and then to Calendar Sync. Uh, you need to you need to enable auto sync. So if you go to my account here, and uh, you'll see the calendar, the sync calendar is enabled too. So I, d I don't want the contacts of Gmail. I don't I don't need that. So you, you could always apply those too if you want to. So we'll see. Um, and besides that, uh, if you have the power control widget, you need to enable also the sync option right there. So we have all these things activated. So we're going to go back to our calendar here. So right here. So we're going to add a calendar. It's going to go for test. We're going to create. And should be there in blue. So without doing anything, it should, it should appear on your phone like by itself. So we're going to confirm that by going there, settings, and then calendar, and then voila. Do you see that? So we're going to enable that. So the trick is that when you are like editing or adding calendars on your Google on the computer, you need to have the, this, the auto sync option enabled because otherwise, any changes that you do on your computer won't show up. There. So we're gonna we're gonna test this uh, hypothesis. So so we're gonna disable this. So let's say we're gonna um, we're gonna add a test three calendar. So we're gonna create it. It's in red. So. If we wanna sync it like normally, we'll do this. It's gonna sync. It's finished. So we go back, go calendars, and it's not there. Do you see it? It's not showing up. It's showing the calendar that we did while the auto sync option was enabled. So we go back again, go out, go calendar sync. We enable it. Then we go back to our Google Calendar. We're gonna add a third calendar. We're gonna name it a test four. We're gonna create it. Uh, it should be there shortly. Mm. Come on, come on. Did we add it? Uh, test four. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. We did it two times. All right, doesn't matter. Okay, so we got. We just added two calendars, two different colors. So we're gonna go here, and since the auto sync was enabled, we should see it. Do you see that? That that is just perfect. So the only calendar, the only calendar that we don't see is the test three, which we do, uh, I'm sorry, which we did while the auto sync was disabled. So 
that's all you gotta do and you have all your calendars as many as you want synced to your phone.